messy and wet. We're cycling from Hong Kong to Singapore to create awareness about the rhino crisis. In our home country, South Africa, rhinos are being poached heavily. Every year, more and more rhinos are being killed. Rhinos are being killed in Africa for the demand of Asian countries, mainly China and Vietnam. This is where we want to reach the people. Allegedly, 80% of the demand for rhino horn is from Vietnam. Before long, um, at the rate that we're going, we're going to be losing these animals and you're never going to see them again. Mm. You know, so it's, it's basically awareness of what you are buying, what you are actually buying. And, you know, the destruction is actually causing, or devastation at least, it's, it's causing here in Africa, not just South Africa. Vietnamese are using rhino horn? Uh, I think that there are a lot of reasons uh, that Vietnamese people still use rhino horns. Uh, first of all, a lot of people believe that it's a very good treatment for a cancer. A friend of mine, uh, he, his family received a rhino horns as a gift. So Chinese uh, old believe that rhino's horn can heal um, serious disease and then when they invaded uh, Vietnam so um, old people in Vietnamese believe, believe it too They, with the rhino horn it's a history they believe that it can cure a lot of disease and it's making like man and women, even women stronger it's like sexualized, I know and um, yeah, it's just it's a culture for their luckily for their, for their luck so if you don't have a, uh, much money, you try to keep a, a small piece of rhino horn in the gauntlet. Some of them borrow money from the bank to buy rhino horn. People believe that it's a very good treatment for a cancer. You can use rhino horn as a some kind of drug yeah, to, to, be, uh, to get higher. The purpose is to reduce the body temperature, especially when having fever. For the men. How can Vietnam stop using rhino horn? Um, I think number one to um, to help them that to understand that rhino horn is basically like our fingernail and and hair, so. It, it doesn't have that uh, magic impact. It's just the belief that make them improve their hair condition, but not the, the, the horn uh, material. A lot of the reasons why people do kind of religious uh, ceremonies and that is to bring good luck, and then use that and use the religious leaders to be able to say, hey, wait a minute, you know, this is actually wrong. If you're going to do this, this is really going to bring bad luck to us as a country, or as a people, or as a village, or as a community. Like right now, the priority is not protect wildlife here. Actually, that's like they still more about the money, how to yeah, just get rich. There's actually a lot of money involved in uh, the trade of rhino horn, and often um, those officials who are supposed to be enforcing the law 
um, stand to get, gain uh, monetarily if we want to be able to stop the trade of rhino horn in this country. One of the key things we'll have to tackle um, is corruption. Famous Vietnamese doctor had to declare publicly that rhino horn is not medicine. Behind every rhino horn product is a dead rhino, and everyone should know that know this education is key. People should inform themselves about what is happening to rhinos and tell others about this too. Vietnam, the future of the rhino lies in your hands. We ask you, the people of Vietnam, to make it your top priority to save the rhino. You can be the leader for change. And our message is that everyone can make a difference. Even a small action can have a huge effect in the long run. And our question today is, what are you doing to save the rhinos? Vietnam!